typically day to day on a snow event. We'd start at 3 or 4 a.m. The crew plows over 2,100 lane miles of road per event. That's not including cul-de-sacs and obviously sidewalks. Usually it doesn't take more than a day for all of us to run almost 270 miles of sidewalk. But then, you know, you see the couple we've had this year with 10, 12, 15, 18 inches of snow, and that becomes a long, long process. When we do get a, a two or three day snow event, you know, we ask a lot of our crew to come in early, work late, sleep on minimum hours of sleep, and then come back and repeat two, three days in a row. And that's not the end of it. Then we have to think about cleaning up and preparing for the next event. It's pretty fun, but it does get old when you do it days and days and days in a row. I like the satisfaction of having a clear road after I've gone through, make sure the drivers are safe. It's just kind of fun to like, see that you're actually doing something. There's some self-satisfaction when you see a road you can't drive on, and once you go by it, it's you know, like right down to the pavement almost. So. When I'm plowing, I like to make sure I have a good Spotify playlist to listen to. Tunes and podcasts. I usually start every snowfall event with the same playlist. Yes, you'd say a lot of caffeine. Coffee. Coffee's a big thing for me. Drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Just knowing it's going to be a long day. Energy drinks and some good snacks and candy. Lots of coffee and music, and you kind of just roll with it all day long. So this winter has been extremely challenging, not because of just the snow that we deal with during the winter, but it's also been the amount of rain we've had this year. It's hard to get the snow up over the banks at this point, get it close enough to the mailboxes and our routes. I guess our biggest challenge as we get to residentials is parked cars and garbage cans. There's been times that we can't even make it down the street because the cars are parked on both sides of the road. It can be frustrating because sometimes you can't get through the roads or you just can't clear the road as well as you would like to. And if we can't get the snow all the way to the curb, it's very hard to open those catch basins up. It can get pretty mentally draining as well as physically draining because there's no suspension. It's a pretty rough ride. Usually we try to get out every couple of hours, stretch, walk around a little bit because it is tight in the machines. Kind of helps with fatigue, a little backache, uh, legs kind of tense up a little bit. So We know it's going to take a long time. We have a lot of miles to cover. Just slow and steady and then once you get done, know you're gonna have, uh, probably going to have to help somebody else. Breakdowns always happen, people get stuck. Some of the city members, they go home for the weekend. These folks, they're working around the clock. So that's been another challenge for them is working weekends, holidays, and they've been wonderful this year. So I appreciate all their hard work and makes my job easier. And obviously it helps out the traveling public in the city, keeping everybody safe.